Hello everybody and welcome to Rail Enthusiast. You join me today at London Paddington to go through the GWR's Class 166 Startup and Setup Procedures. Firstly, we must enter the leading cab. To walk up to the cab, use the AWSD keys. You can open the cab side door by clicking on it with the left mouse button. You can also close the door by looking at it and once again clicking on the left mouse button and then sit in the driver's seat with E. Once sitting comfortably in the driver's seat, we'll need to activate the controls of this cab. Down to the left of the driver's seat, you'll find the reverser, master key and combined throttle brake lever. It is here where we can unlock this cab. To do this, click on the master key with your cursor using the left mouse button. Before starting the engine, we'll need to bring back the combined throttle brake lever into the full service position. It's important to mention that the Class 166 uses a combined throttle brake lever. What this means is that the throttle and brake are controlled from the same lever. In this case, the upper half is the brake and the lower half is the throttle. Now we are ready to start the engine. With the engine started, now we must head to the rear cab and set up the tail lights. The headlight and tail switch is located to the left and above the driver's chair on this panel here. Turn the switch twice to the left to set it to the tail lights. Now back in the leading cab, we can set up the lights for our run. Using the same controls located in the same position as the rear cab, set the switch to day running with one turn to the left. If you are driving at night time, you want to set it to night running. Behind and above the driver's seat, you will find the AWS, Automatic Warning System, if you do so please want to turn it on. For the sake of this tutorial, I'll be switching it on. To reset the AWS, we will need to bring the reverser lever into the neutral position. When doing this, an alarm will sound. You will need to click the Q key to acknowledge it. In front of your driver's seat is where you'll find the AWS display, the AWS reset and the speedometer, measured in miles per hour. It is this AWS reset button you must push when you hear the sound as heard just before. To the left of the speedometer, you have the brake gauge. The higher the right brake needle, the more brake power you have got applied. When the brake needle is at zero, you have got no brakes applied. As said previously, the high range is the brake and the low range is the throttle. Now you're ready to let on passengers. To the right of your seat, you'll find the door controls to the right hand doors and the whistle. To the left of your chair and next to the reverser, you'll find the door controls for the left hand doors. As the platform is on the left, we'll be using these door controls to open the doors. Press the door release button to open the doors. When the doors are open, the closed door button will light up blue. When ready to close the doors, hit the blue button. Now we're ready to get moving. Put the reverser into forward. Now bring the combined throttle and brake lever into the low range, which is the throttle. And that's it. I hope you have found this video useful. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe for more.